What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are continuing showcasing Regulation H teams and today we got ourselves Palafin. Now Palafin in previous most recent formats in Scarlet Violet hasn't been too good. We actually haven't seen this Pokemon that much. But now in Regulation H with Paradox and Legendary Pokemon gone, I believe Palafin's going to return to Elite. Elite status and get rolling in this regulation because it's such a strong Pokemon and without Paradox and Legendary Pokemon, it really just outclasses everybody else. So we're rocking out with the day, trying it out on the casual ladder because obviously ranked is not dropped yet, but still casual ladder is a ton of fun with these regulation H teams. But let's talk about this Palafin build a little bit. It's got zero to hero at stability with the Mystic Water and the Water Terror type to boost its water moves a little bit more. It's got Drain Punch for coverage and HP recovery. On top of that, it's got Flip Turn, Wave Crash and Protect. I would love this Pokemon to have Jet Punch considering it is the best first turn priority move in the game, but nonetheless, I still love this move set. Other Pokemon on today's team feature a few meta guys. We got Rillaboom and Incineroar going to be top tier within this regulation. I feel like I'm going to get tired of saying their names because they're going to be on almost every single team in regulation H. But we also have Tatsugiri Dondozo, another little combo right here that I think is going to return to its former glory in this regulation, like Palafin. Again, no Paradox, no Legendaries. These Pokemon are going to be back on top. Our final Pokemon going to be Whimsicott, who is probably the best Tailwind setter in Regulation H, so we're going to be seeing a lot of Whimsicott in this format as well. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right-hand corner, and if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Palafin team. Gotta love it. We're on the casual ladder, but we're going up against a Regulation G team. They got Terrapagos, they got Fluttermane, they got Urshifu, they got Tornadus, and just like us, they're rocking out with Rillaboom and Incineroar. So Terrapagos honestly going to be a little bit of a problem. Um, I could lead on those and kind of pose that threat, maybe like flip turn out of there. And I think that is actually pretty good for us. I'm going to go Don Dozo with Palafin for lead. Try to get that cooking. Then go Tatsugiri and last but not least maybe into Incineroar or Rillaboom. What's my player? What do you got, Wimscott? Got anything good here? Encore, Helping Hand. Encore's actually not bad. Could Encore him in the fake out, but I feel like just having like Incineroar is going to be a little bit better for us. So that is what I'm going to do here. We're going to go Incineroar. This one's going to be tough, guys. It's definitely going to be a tough match. Um, we got to see how we want to play this, though. We definitely want to see how we want to play this, because if, if they have a fake out user, they're just going to you know, fake out my Dantos and probably read the Palf and swap, right? But I'd love to just swap into like Incineroar here if they lead physical attackers such as like Rillaboom and Incineroar. And if that's the Dark Urshfu, I'd love to intimidate that as well. But I feel like they have to bring Urshfu and I'm really hoping that's Dark Urshfu because Water Urshfu kind of struggles to do big time damage onto Dantos, especially with his defensive boost after, you know, Commander gets in control. But yeah, this one's going to be a tough first match. It's definitely going to be a tough first match, but since we are on the casual ladder, we get like a wide variety of teams. I've been getting some regulation G teams. I've been getting some like all legendary teams. I've been getting some like no EV train teams. And occasionally I get the regulation H teams. And those battles are just awesome. It's going to end up leading Water Urshfu, which is pretty good for us. Um, I think we just hard swap Palafin here. I think it's a simple hard swap. Instead of a flip turn swap. And then I can just battle and I can just go EQ. We go Terra Dragon. No, we don't want to go Terra Dragon. Kind of like her typing here. I think EQ is going to be in our best interest. Let's do some nice damage being plus two. Yeah, let's do that. And then in the back end, we could have Palafin in its hero form with Incineroar. So that could actually be really clutch for us. But man, I wish we had Jet Punch. I really do wish we had Jet Punch. That would have been so clutch. Would have been so clutch. But it is good news for us that they do have Water Urshfu rather than Dark Urshfu. Because now we can't just go into like Surging Strikes and do a lot of damage with crits because we're water typing so that's actually really good for us um i would have loved to kind of terrestrialize into dragon but with uh obviously with fluttermane on the field that's a no-go that is just not a good idea so i'm gonna hard swap palfin instead of going for a flip turn and i'm just gonna go right into my tattoo gear hopefully for some reason they don't see that coming i actually probably could have just protected it that turn but i feel like they, they're just reading that all day right they're just going to attack my Dandozo. So we might as well just swap. Kind of go from there. But I'm curious to see how much this damage this EQ does. I'm really hoping it does half, at least, on the Flutter main. Moonblast does fly into the Palafin slot, which is massive. And he's going to go for a close combat, which we should soak rather well. And now your defense is lowered. 
So EQ can actually do some nice damage. Oh, that's huge that he attacked the uh, the Palafin slot. That is massive. So EQ flies. Do me do half damage to Fluttermane. It does do half damage to Fluttermane. So another one will KO. Your defense is low, so I'm just gonna send another EQ. You give me no reason not to drop another EQ. You give me no reason not to. We soak close combat rather well. Moonblast gonna fly. We soak that decently well. And of course you get a special attack drop, but it doesn't really matter at all. So we are physical attacking. Close combat flies again. Your stats are lowered. So we're gonna get rid of Fluttermane, which is which is big time news. And Urshifu, I wish we dealt more damage to Urshifu with our at first EQ. I really do. But still, we take out Fluttermane. Another EQ will take out Urshifu. And I'm hoping we can do some big time damage onto whatever Pokemon he has. Okay. Incineroar comes out here. That's fine. Incineroar is going to come out here. It's going to intimidate us. Um, EQ can do some nice damage to that. And I think from here, we just honestly... Oh, we don't even have Protect. We don't even have Protect, which really sucks. I would have loved to just Protect here. I would have loved to Protect. He's just going to fake me out. If it fakes me out, it goes for another close combat. We should be able to soak another close combat and outspeed this Incineroar. And then just EQ and take out... Urshifu. I'm cool with this. Dantos are thriving out here. Yeah, let's just spam another EQ. You give me no reason not to spam another EQ because your boy cannot take me out unless he gets a crit. Please don't get a crit. Thank you. And now Don Dizzy should outspeed. And we should pick up a KO onto Urshifu. More importantly, get off some nice damage onto Incineroar. So I'm surprised they didn't thrash last Incineroar. But EQ just going crazy here. As much as I want to use water moves, EQ's just going crazy. EQ is just going crazy. <clears throat> so we have Palfin in the back end. We have Tatsugiri ready to go. He's going to go for knockoff. He is going to pick up the KO with that, which is no big deal. We got off a ton of value with Dondo. Not only did we swap Palafin and turn it into its hero form, we picked up two KOs on two very strong Pokemon. So from here, honestly, I'm just going to go into Incineroar and save Palafin for, for late game. Yeah, it's going to be Rollboom, so I get to Intimidate. Him. So I get to Intimidate. Awesome, so minus one on to both of them. I still got Pally. I still have Terra, too. Which, what do I really want to use my Terra for? What do I want to use my Terra for? I'm just going to fake you out and just go for a Muddy Water. Yeah, fake out Muddy Water. I might not even use Palafin in this matchup. Cause that's why I kind of wish we had Jet Punch because Rillaboom is going to be a big time counter. That's a big part why Palafin really fell off. I feel like we're going to be seeing Palafin in Regulation H, but we're going to be seeing it probably rock a different Terra type than Water because we're so normal or it's so normal to see Water Terra Palafin. I think we're going to start seeing like Grass Terra Palafin just to kind of deal with uh, Rillabooms, right? Or not deal with Rillabooms, well, at least soak up some shots because if you hop on the field and this thing just Grassy guides you, you're like, oh man, I'm dead. It's game over. <laughs> But, uh, I'm going to be able to fake out my boy right here. And maybe we should have swapped into Palafin just to protect it and then swap back out and we're just intimidate again. That could have been good. And he's going to fake out Tatsu. It's actually a smart play. It's actually a real smart play. He fakes out Tatsu and gets off a turn here. He's going for a knockoff. He's going to take all my focus dash. No big deal. I'm hoping Tatsu can just outspeed. I really do. I really do, but we both have Terra still. We both still have Terra. I mean, I can launch a. Actually, you know what we should do? That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go for a parting shot here. That's my Terra type, though. Fire. I don't really need to change it. But I'm gonna go for a parting shot here. Into Palfin because you're gonna go last. Let's be honest. You are gonna go last in Cinemar. And then from here, we can just hard swap Palafin back into Incineroar. Unless he picks up a KO into my Tatsugiri. But at that point, we're still able to swap Incineroar. So, that's good. The knockoff flies in that slot. You can take off my item. No big deal. Now, now I'm able to go into you. You're going to be minus two. And then I'm just going to hard swap Tatsugiri into Incineroar and just protect. Play it smart. Play it simple. Also, we got to waste out these terrain turns, so that's good news. Yeah, good call for us. Just, just drop the party shot. Incineroar's so strong in this format 
you gotta use it to its fullest advantage. Just get off as many intimidates as you can, as many parting shots as you can, and you're gonna win a lot of games. <laughs> you're gonna win a lot of games. So all that happens, we gotta check the terrain turn. Still three. Um, yeah, this is where we definitely just protect. And we hard swap my boy right now. And we go into Incineroar. Playing it slow, playing it simple. Probably launch a Grass Guide into the slot no matter what. And then I could just fake it out next turn. Get rid of the Incineroar with Palafin. He's sitting in a great position. A lovely position. And they still have Terra, so do we. We both still have Terra, which is kind of crazy. I'm surprised they haven't sent their Terra yet. But I now get out my Incineroar. Another Intimidate. Just what we wanted. Just what we wanted. We'll probably see a knockoff into the Incineroar slot and a Grassy Guide into the Palafin slot. But I feel as now that you're minus three, we should be able to soak a Grassy Guide. Let's be honest here. We should be able to soak a Grassy Guide. Not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. Knock off doing negative five damage. <laughs> oh my lord. And from here, I feel as we just terrestrialize Palafin. In case it went terrestrialized in Cinemore, we drop a wave crash. And we fake out the, uh. And we fake out the, uh, Rillaboom. Yeah, it plays one pretty well. We, this is looking like we, we should win this one, but. You know, I, I don't want to jinx it. I really don't want to jinx it, because they could just pull out, like, a, a ghost terror here, get a crit with Grassy Glide. Oh, and it could get so ugly. <laughs> if something crazy like that happens, I'd be so upset. But so, I'm glad they didn't bring Terrapagos. Terrapagos would have been a real big problem here. But they just fake out into the Bulbum slot. Yes, sir. Wave Crash can finish off Incineroar, and we pretty much lock up this game, right? We pretty much just lock up this game. No problem whatsoever. I believe we can eat up Grass Guide, so I'm, I'm just gonna send like a Drain Punch in that slot, and then we're just gonna follow through with uh with Fire Blitz. I could just protect Palafin again, and waste out the last turn of terrain. Honestly, we should do that. We should play it smart. There's one more turn left in terrain, right? Yeah, we might as well just protect Palafin. We're playing smart today, guys. We're playing smart today. As you guys know on the G channel, sometimes we play good, sometimes we play bad. Today we're playing good. Moving on to our second match, and we're going up against another Regulation G team. So we're 1-0 up against Reg G teams, and this one seems like it's going to be a bit tougher. Kyogre, Tornadus, Dragonite, Sneasler, Incineroar, and Flutterman. So, a lot of big dogs here. Kind of scaring me. Um, I think who they're going to lead. Because we could go Dondozo, Palafin again if we really want to. But if they lead Incineroar, we, would, we, we just wouldn't like that. We just wouldn't like that at all. So, I mean, I could go Palafin with Whimsicott. Just try to get some speed. The problem here is going to be Kyogre, so I might just lead Rollaboom. I think leading Rollaboom Palafin might be in our play. Because I should have U-Turn on you, correct? Yeah, I can always just U-Turn, flip turn out with you, and then get out. Maybe Dantoso Tatsugiri. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Especially due to how bulky you are. I like that. I like that. This one's gonna be so tough for us. A bit too tough for us. I'm not liking this. I'm not liking going up against regulation G teams with regulation H. It's just it's just scary, right? Like you see a Kyogre or like a Calyrex or something, and you're just like, dude, if they bring that, I'm dead. You're just gonna like water spout your way to victory if you tailwind. And it's just scary. But again, we do have Rolling on the field, so that can really play a big time part for us. But he lead, he got there it is. All right, cool. So we got Rillaboom on the field. Um, it's going to be a simple hard swap into... Into... Bump, 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 bump. Dondozo? Yeah, we got swap. So here. Yeah, we're trying to hard swap. He might just protect the Kyogre, let's be honest here. Might just be a simple protect from Kyogre. Well, we'll see how this one plays. It's gonna be Grass Terror. Don't tell me it's Grass Terror. Let's get it. This could get real ugly real quick. You need Grass Terror. What, what, you, what you using Ice Terror for? This exact reason? Ice Terror? And you're, you're gonna snow skate. 
And you're gonna snow skate? What, what are you doing? Probably should just faked it out, but what are you going for? Ice beam? Blizzard cut? What is going on? Bye bye, Rillaboom. Bye bye, Rillaboom. Blizzard Kyogre. Really? Blizzard Kyogre. Alright, Dante's getting it back HP. I could go into you. I could go in. It, it'd be better for us to go in the Palafin and then swap into Tatsugiri. Just hoping somebody would attack it, right? So that's exactly what we want to do. Blizzard Kyogre. Okay. But we'll swap the Tatsugiri into Don Dizzy. Um, I don't want to Terrasalize into Dragon. That'd be bad news for us. But I can now Wave Crash this Kyogre down. So I'm cool with that. So we're we'll, we'll going to Wave Crash here. Plus two. Snow Terra. Not Snow. Ice Terra. Kyogre. And you change the rain. Who changes the rain off of Kyogre? I mean, it worked. Don't get me wrong. But it's just odd. But this is why it's so fun to like go on the casual ladder. Like people are using cool things, they're trying out new things. It's just a lot of fun on the casual ladder. But I'm trying my hardest here. Regulation G teams are no joke. All right, so we're gonna hard swap into Tatsugiri here. Hopefully they go for some sort of a shot into this Tatsugiri slot, but it's just better for you to swap Palafin rather than to just go straight into Tatsugiri because it's doing the same thing. It's doing the same thing. So maybe you could force a shot over. Um, we'll get all those stat boosts. I wonder if we outspeed the Kyogre now, if they don't send a Tailwind. And there's a Tailwind. Never mind. They sent the Tailwind. So they got Tailwind going. Uh, what move are you using here? You going for a Blizzard here? Can you, like, not freeze me? Because I have an odd feeling you are going to freeze me. We soaked this really well. And cool, you don't freeze me. Wave Crash can now fly. Plus two. Big time damage. We love it. I'll take a little bit of recoil. They got some speed going. Um, do I just leave Kyogre on the field? Maybe just wave crash you. Cause what are you really doing here, Kyogre? You're not really doing much. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go wave crash you. I'm just gonna wave crash this Tornadus. He's so really well. He's probably gonna get a speed drop. Yep, always, always, always getting a speed drop. There's another Blizzard. Are you choosing the Blizzard? It sure seems like it. It sure seems like it. You are just doing not, like, no damage. Wave Crash flying. I swear, you're gonna get the freeze soon enough, and I'm gonna be so annoyed. Wave Crash is picking up the KO. We'll take some mean recoil damage, but if that does, we can get rid of, you know, Kyogre and Tornadus. Pretty good. We're, that'd be pretty good shape for us. That'd be pretty good shape for us. They get back a little bit of HP. I kinda wish we had Protect here, just so we can waste out these, uh, snow turns. But who you got cooking here? We know you're going for Blizzard. You're gonna go into Fluttermain. Oh man, a little tough news on our end. Fluttermain. Fluttermain with Pro Synthesis. Speed boost, that's fine. Um, I don't want to use Terra. I want to I wanna try to kill, KO this Kyogre. Really want to try to KO this Kyogre. We have Tatsugiri. We have Palafin in the back end. Moonblast gonna fly. How much damage are we doing? We're good. We're good. We soak this. We soak these blizzards. Oh, you switch to Ice Beam. I think Ice Beam actually does less damage. Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Are you serious right now? You, 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 you gotta be joking. You gotta be joking. You gotta be joking. That is crazy. Your Kyogre should be dead. Your Kyogre should be dead. I just got critted by an Ice Beam. On a Snow or an Ice Terra Kyogre in the snow. What is going on? That's rough. That is rough. Um, okay, what do I do here? Gotta go into Muddy Water. I gotta go for Drain Punch in this slot. Oh man, that hurts. There goes a Moon Blast. Can we soak this? It's not bad. Blizzard's gonna fly here. Palfin, can you soak this? Please and thank you. Thank you, Palfin. Thank you, Palfin. Palfin picks up KO. Now this is where I wish we had Jet Punch. 
This is where I wish we had Jet Punch. See, like, that Kyogre should have never gotten off that Blizzard. My Tatsugiri should have been at full HP right now. And watch, we're gonna miss a Muddy Water. Got an odd feeling about this one. Okay, we landed. Give me the Accuracy Drop, though. That'd be huge. Nope, we never do. Alright, so... I don't even know how to play this. Wish we had Jet Punch. Wish we had Jet Punch. Tailwind's gone. Fluttermane's still fastest on the field. And the grass is gone. Yeah, I feel as... Let's see who their final Pokemon is. Really depends on that. Dragon. We might have lost this match regardless. I mean, we have Dragon Pulse, but still. Go for that. And... I guess we'll just protect you, because chances are you're going for a Moon Blast in this slot. But yeah, if we KO'd that Kyogre, if he didn't get a crit, we would have died out to recoil damage due to Wave Crash. But still, we would have got rid of Kyogre. Um, and Tatsugiri and my uh, Palafin would never took damage at all to it. So that could have been a huge plus for us. We actually would have been having a little closer match, but it seems like they got the upper hand now. And they're just going to end it. But maybe this Protect could really help us out. Maybe they could target down my Palafin. No, they switched the Moon Blast. And just dump on my Tatsu. I know I saw a Terra, but these Terra types are kind of like the same type as them. None of them are really defensive, so it really wouldn't have helped out. You have to go for a Dragon Dance, too. That's crazy. But hey, GG to our opponent. They'll probably win this one regardless, but I still would have loved to see how it played out if we would have just KO'd that Kyogre. What is up with me going up against Regulation G teams today? They're all over the place. I really don't want them to bring Shadow Rider Kyler, because that could be a big, big pain in the neck. But, um... They got a couple other good Pokemon. They got Dantozo Tatsugiri, just like us. They're also rocking out with Smeargle, Co-Star, Flamigo, and that Muck, man. That Muck is very annoying. It just minimizes and kind of does this thing. But I feel like going into Palafin, trying to hard swap back and getting after it that way is going to be really good for us. Um, could go into Rillaboom for the lead. Like, a Fake Out user could be nice for us. Um, if you lead Calyrex, Incineroar is going to be good. So I'm going to lead you... Um, who should I bring the back in that Dozo Tatsu? Probably best for us, right? What do I got Robum? Robum could be good, but I mean, they got co-star from me. I'm gonna go into my own Dantoso Tatsu. Because I was just looking at their team, which like Dantoso is gonna be a problem for us, and really the only way we can probably counter it is bring our own Dantoso. So maybe we'll have a Dantoso versus Dantoso matchup here. That could be pretty cool. Just like bulky. What are they, catfish? bulky catfish going at it that'd be pretty nice that'd be pretty nice because at that point i'd just start spamming order ups right order up order up order up getting this attack boost and then just uh trying to just out deal damage for them let's see who they're gonna rock out with for the lead here please don't let it be shadow okay it's not shadow they're gonna go into these two these two come out here and who's faster smeargle or incineroar it's probably smeargle it's probably Smeargle. Oh, dude, both these guys are so annoying. I don't know for a flip turn, just get off Focus Ash. I'm just gonna fake out the Muck if I can. He's outspeeding me, so he's gonna fake out me. Really hurt Soul, what are you going for? Minimize? Definitely going for a Minimize. Flip turn actually does some damage. Flip turn actually does some damage. This is gonna get ugly real quick. I already know it's gonna get ugly. I already know it's gonna get ugly. He's gonna go for Minimize. He's gonna co-start a Flamigo. They're gonna have double Minimize Pokemon. It'll get ugly real quick. Yeah. Oh my lord. Don't like this. Don't like this. Alright. Um, from here? No, we really don't need Terra. We're just gonna go for EQ. Hopefully land it. Hopefully land it. And we're going to swap you into Tatsugiri. Have Incineroar Palf in the back end. Man, I hate this game. I hate this game. I knew it was happening, but I just couldn't stop it with the Pokemon I had. I mean, unless maybe I went to, like, Whimsicott and just encored this thing to death. But I believe he's Dark-type as well. He's Dark and Poison, right? I couldn't have actually encored it. All right, EQ. Need some accuracies from you. Need, need some shots hitting. Need some EQs onto this, uh... Onto this minimize Pokemon. Now it's time. Now it's time. And of course we're gonna see a Terra. Of course we're gonna see a Terra. If this is flying type, I'm gonna be so upset. 
water. That's just, oh man. This game. This game. He's going to be able to minimize again. I really want to hit this thing with EQ. We're missing regardless, aren't we? No, we don't. See, that would have that been a nice lane for us. That would have been a great lane for us. Because he's going to be able to minimize again. Bring out Co-Star Flamigo. And this is going to get ugly. Real quick. Real quick, it's going to get ugly. Because now it has Moody as well. Oh, man. He's got an attack boost as well. Special defense is dropping. We have no special attackers. Oh, man. We have we have Tatsu. I mean, Tatsu can maybe come out here. Maybe land a shot, but... We don't like this. Because now he just has Shadow Rider Calyrex. With... Oh, no. It's not Co-Star. Okay. I was going to say. With Minimize, all that good stuff. But I just think we just go for Wave Crash here. We just attack this thing. I mean, we... Muck's already kind of set up, so... I think our best bet is to just try to delete the right side of Pokemon and then deal with Muck while we can, right? Good protect on his end. Wave Crash can get blocked. Muck, what are you doing here? You going for another Minimize, maybe? Alright, so you're plus six. Oh, yeah, we, we can't really do anything like that. We're just going to have to try to deal with this, this Calyrex first and foremost. Um... They could hard swap into Co-Star Flamigo. That can get ugly. Really hoping you didn't bring it. And this thing's attack is going to be through the roof in just a couple turns. <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad. Not good at all. He's going to go for a... Oh, no. He's going to psych up here. Copy Don Dozo's stats. Alright, well, you should have copied your, your boy's stats, but now you get some defensive bulkiness to you. We get a crit, too. That's massive. Thank you. Thank you, game. I needed that. I needed that. I really did need that. I really did need that. Thank you, game. Makes up for the crit last turn. You guys for knockoff. It's not doing that much damage. You do take off my vest, though. And now you're down to two Pokemon. Now you're down to two. We took out the Smeargle. This thing is going crazy. He's getting defense boost now. Special defense is dropping. Now he's bulking up even more. And here comes the co-star Flamigo. Alright, Don Dozo. I need you to at least just take out the Flamigo. He's gonna white herb. Is his stats back to normal? Oh no, he still gets all the attack boost. Oh my lord. He can still soak up a wave crash, I believe. We're still going to try to land it. He's going to detect. Yeah, we just got to keep attacking this slot. It's ugly. <laughs> this is so ugly. <laughs> oh, man. Leave me alone. Get some defense drops. Poison gas. Is this how you playing? going to poison gas me to death? This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. I need a big time wave crash land. Ah oh, man, a lot of stat boost for him. Going for gold here. So yeah, this is going to be a tough one to win. Once again, special defense boost. I don't mind. Actually, that's my favorite one. Of course, he gets a, a good special attack drop, but that's my favorite one. Special defense boost. Actually, I'd rather him get like speed boost, but still. Acrobatics and a flyer. We're able to soak pretty well. Land this wave crash. Don Dizzy, my dog. And you get the KO. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, that's massive. So, our plan of just taking out the whole right side, it's going well right now. It's going well. I mean, he's getting moody boosted right now, so it's going to get ugly real quick. Um, Might as well go for an order up, try to land that. Surprised we hasn't missed, missed yet. Do we die out to this poison? We do. Do we have Tatsugiri on the field? Um, Can we miss a fake out? Now your special defense. Which is now now your special defense is going through the roof. Can I miss a fake out? That's my real question. That is the best question. Hmm. Oh, I forgot about this. We have darkest Larry. We might just want to attack with this. The target stat changes don't affect the damage. That's huge. I'm just gonna attack. And I might just go helping hand with this boost. 
but it's really we're not doing much damage with Dragon Pulse or anything. Darkest Slayer is definitely our best option. He's gonna protect. That's definitely our best option because you're getting all these boosts, defenses through the roof. We have to hit this thing with Darkest Slayer. So we still have Palfin late game. Palfin can't really do much. Sinor is gonna have to be the clutch guy. And Moody's gonna boost his attack even more. He's gonna want to go for a poison gas here. Look at these stats. Oh my lord. Yeah, we gotta go for helping hand. Uh, Darkest Slayer. Still have Terra. I don't really want to use it. I really don't want to use it. So helping hand, go ahead. Land this. Let's see how much damage we can do. We are landing. Yo, we're out here landing shots. And that's some that's solid damage. You got leftovers, which is gonna annoy me. And he's gonna protect and play it slow. I think he wins this game. Just on stalling poisons. But if I could just keep landing Dark Slayer, it's could be sitting pretty good. This thing's annoying. So what's its moves? I think I know it's knock off, poison gas, uh, minimize, and protect. So he's just gonna protect stall. Come on, you do this on the casual ladder. You do this on the casual ladder, so we know he's protecting. Um I'm gonna try to pull off a taunt next turn just so we can't protect. He doesn't even protect this turn. I should have taunted this turn. Go ahead, land this. Land this. He's protecting. I'm, I'm gonna taunt him next turn. I don't think he should be allowed to protect. You should not be allowed to protect. We're gonna, we're gonna stop that in his tracks. Because that's his main thing. He's just gonna be able to protect and just get leftovers constantly. And then just let the poison do its thing. Okay. I see you. I understand. I feel you. God, this Pokemon's annoying. Speed boost. That's actually fine. Defense drop. That's better. Yeah, we're gonna go for another Dark Slayer. We are gonna go for a Taunt this turn. And can, Taunt can't miss, can it? And we just die out to knock off regardless. Oh, I would've loved to get off that Taunt. Can we get a crit? A crit would be... Awesome. But yo, we're, we're landing shots still, which is insane. We're just slowly landing shots, so... Now they're sitting here, they are going to protect again. And this is not looking good. I have Water Terror, I have Fire Terror, but... The Terror types just are not gonna help us, right? So I'm going for Drain Punch here. Water Terror doesn't change our typing or anything. There's no point of us terroring. Alright, well, we're, 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 we're basically at a point where it's just like, hey, we, we need to crit. It's really the only way. It's really the only way, but I'm super surprised that we haven't missed a shot yet, but it seems like that this muck is going to get the best of us. It sure seems that way. I feel like we played good today, though. Lost to two regulation G teams. I think we went up against three regulation G teams, and all the matches came down to the wire. Knockoff's going to fly and almost one-shot me. Knock off my Mystic Water as well. And Drain Punch is missing regardless. Darkest Slayer, are you landing again? Does this thing not miss? Does this move not miss? It's hit. Does this move not miss? Boys is still chipping up a little bit. We got a few turns left for Incineroar. And I got my Citrus Berry cooking. You weren't ready for that. You weren't ready for my Citrus Berry to come out. Does Lariat never miss? I really hope it does. Let's see. Oh, I mean, I think we're just landing him. I think we're just landing him. I'm going to protect Palfin. Try to keep it around here for another turn. And I should have protected next turn reading that all day. That's a pretty simple read. What am I doing? What am I doing? I might as well go for double protect, right? I might as well, because he's definitely going for a knockoff into my Palafin slot. They KO it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, that's all I have. Because you're outspeeding my Palafin right now. With your moody boost. Unless your speed drops here. No defense dropped. We'll go for another Darkest Lariat. Um, 
Yeah, your speed's plus five. You're just not speeding me. We, we're gonna, we gotta go for another double protect because you're attacking me. We're going for double protect. Going for it. Dang, this is so ugly. This is such an ugly match. And I missed the double protect. Man, I hate this game. There's a knockoff. See, I, I knew we had to go for double protect. Darkest Slayer, keep doing your thing. Keep doing your thing. Stay hot. Stay hot. Stay hot. Hold up. Well, one, one more should KO. Problem is, like, I don't know if we're getting super lucky or is there, does this move never miss? I'm gonna have to look it up later. Oh no, the stat, oh, the stat changes don't affect it. So yeah, the evasiveness isn't affecting it. That's what's so big. That's why it's going crazy. That's why it's going crazy. The evasiveness, okay, I figured it out. Yeah, the evasiveness stats do not boost it. So it's just hitting. Okay, cool. That's actually awesome. Because I was thinking just defense drops. I get back so much HP. Real question is, how much can we soak up a knockoff? We might just die out to a knockoff. We have to KO with this Darkest Lariat, and I don't think we can. I only got two more as well. I only got two more as well. There's knockoff. Can we soak? We do soak, and you could just... We have to KO here. We have to KO here to win, because we'll just die out the poison. Dog. <laughs> we lose the one HP. One HP. One HP we lose to. He's going to protect... I'm on one HP. Man! That sucks. That sucks. If we had knockoff too, I probably would try knocking it off a little bit ago, but we're gonna end up losing. He's gonna protect. He's gonna protect. Game set match. GG's. That's a bad way to, or a harsh way, I should say, lose his third and final match, but still, this muck just getting the best of us. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Rocked out with this Palafin Regulation H team. I definitely wish we would have went up against regulation H teams just to see how it did. But to be honest, up against regulation G teams, it was doing rather well. We had very close matchups. We ended up actually winning one. So I feel like when regulation H comes out, if I revisit this team or a team similar to this, it is going to tear it up. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Oh,